right, guys, we are here at the dive booth at the uh, SPL event uh, with uh, the one and only Billy Wing, and we're going to go over the new i5s. Hey, guys, so Billy Wing here with the new i5, just showcasing it here at the event. Uh, a couple of cool features about the i5. It's 20% larger than the i4, which gives you a, a half an inch more base coverage than the i4. A lot of people have complained, a you know, big face, you know, big chin or whatever, double chin, whatever. But um, that I didn't have enough coverage. So this has more, co quite a bit more coverage. Also has quite a bit more ventilation. So you get a lot more breathing. Uh, lot, you can get your voice out there a lot easier. Uh, the goggle as a whole has a new look. Same i4 lens. So it's, you know, if you have i4 lenses that work in this goggle system, you have. Let me grab another goggle here. Uh, heads up. Uh, point of view camera mount. So this this mount pops up and on the goggle. It's interchangeable on either side with the Sphere logo. Uh, just helps you guys that really like to record your games get the camera mounted parallel with your line of sight, and and it's a nice stable, compact, tight mount too. So one of the nice things about that is just you know it's more convenient. You're not jury rigging anything on the. Foam, it's uh, removable foam, so you can pop it in and out to replace it. We've uh, we've upgraded the foam to a nice multi-layer multi foam with a nice terry cloth liner, so it's a really comfortable fit. Um, you know, there's a few other just cool little features, but really the the big feature that we're really excited about is the new GSR Pro Strap, and it's a dial system, dial ratchet system that lets you dial in your the fit of the goggle to your head and it also cups the back of your head so it's a much larger surface area contacting your head so it's a much uh, more, much more positive fit and it actually wraps above and below the point of the back of your head so it's not just a strap hanging up high that could fall up or hanging low that could fall down it's grabbing on both sides of the, the point of the back of your head and the, the, kind of the cool thing for me is when you put it on you just turn the dial and it gives you even compression 360 degrees around your head. So you're not pulling buckles and getting an uneven pull or an uneven tension. It's a nice even uh, nice even tension on your head. It just dials it into a nice comfortable fit. Uh, everyone that's been trying it here loves it. You know, it's nice soft padding on the inside and it's a real easy, simple system to use. So people are really digging that. So that's the goggle in itself. Uh, of course, what, what Dai has been uh, promoting the last few days is the Evoke system, the dynamic technology series, which is, you find the goggle with that in it, which is this right here, the Evoke system. It's, uh, it's a wireless connection to your marker, so the marker and the goggle share information. The gun feeds you automatic information verbally. Uh, so it gives you automatic updates on your on how many balls you have left, uh, your timer, the, the game timer, your service system. If you're doing the training modes, it helps walk you through the training modes. Uh, if you're a tuner, you and you're at the chrono station, you can you can tap the joystick. It'll give you your hyperreg and your LPR pressures verbally. Uh, you know, and it, it's, it's our large, it's our launching point for the high-end technology communication where we're inter, we're integrating all the, the major components of your equipment to actually operate and work as one. Uh, you know, not just, just a goggle, not just a hopper, not just a gun, but, you know, this is our launching point and our, our base platform to integrate everything. So, you know, everything's working seamlessly together. <laughs> Definitely at a tournament. So, uh, where everything's just working seamlessly together, giving you information, feeding you updates and, and vital information to help you just enjoy the game more and, and actually be able to focus on the game and perform better without being distracted by other other things that could, you know, make your mind wander and worry about where the gun and the goggle and the hopper and stuff are just, they're worrying about all the background noise for you so you can be focused on the game in front of you. Uh, the last thing to cover is the M2 update, which is the MOS Air. MOS Air is a new new main circuit board and operating system. What this board allows you to do is one, connect wirelessly to your Evoke system. It also gives you wireless charging, uh, just like uh, cell phones, smartphones today. You can buy, you can get them where you just set them on a pad and they charge. It's uh, inductive uh, inductive charging, where it's just no wire plug-in. You just set it down. Uh, we've made some nice bases and tech mats 
to inter, inter, uh, to work with that system. Uh, Feature-wise, we've got some kind of some cool new features on the MLS Air system. We've got high resolution or high excuse me high contrast play screen. So if you're in the bright sunlight, uh, you can see them better with, without worrying about reflection or anything like that. We've got the shot tracker, which again counts down your shots and alerts you when you're going to running low on paint. Uh, one of the things the guys in Europe right now who are test, testing this at the Millennium event are really liking are the double double tap power off feature. Some guys hold the gun really low and really tight, and they inadvertently will press and hold the button and actually turn the gun off. So now you have the ability to go in and choose to select where to turn the gun off as a double tap rather than a press and hold. So you know, so you can prevent that, or if you just like the double tap, whatever you like, uh, just more customizable stuff. Uh, new, there's some new fire modes in here. The outlaw fire modes, fully customizable. Uh, you know, just something fun to play with if you're a hobbyist, if you're a tuner. Can't use it on the tournament field by any means, but again, it's fun to play with. Uh, if you just want to get wild and throw a lot of paint, they, you know, just have fun with it. In a nutshell, that's about it. There's a few other cool features on the MOS Air that just more customizable, more user friendly, more more allowing you to set the gun up exactly how you like it. Uh, so, if anything, at least go stop by, check it out, pick one up, go through it. It's really easy to use, really easy to play with, and, and have fun with. Hey guys, thanks for watching How to Play Paintball, and remember, watch, learn, win.